Hi everyone, this is just a quick tour of Google Classrooms to help you find the things that you're looking for and use the system a little easier. So we're going to cover where to find announcements and assignments and how to change between classes. So when you first log into Google Classroom, your screen is going to look a little bit like what you see here. There are three tabs located across the top, Stream, Classwork, and People. Now, if you're using the app, these may be in a different place, but these are your three main things. And we're going to start by looking at the stream. So the stream is where you are going to see anything that is newly posted into your Google Classrooms. So I see that I have two new assignments that have been posted and a new announcement. If there's something that you want to share with the class, you can type that in right here and post it and everyone will be able to see it. The second thing that we want to look at is your upcoming section over here. So this shows what assignments you have due and when they're due. So I see that I have two assignments that are due on Sunday. It also gives me the option to view all of my assignments. When I click on view all, it brings me to my assignments page where I see what is due. So I see those two assignments that are due on Sunday, but I also see I have something else that I need to do. Across to the left over here, I also can see all of the things that have been assigned to me, what has been returned with a grade, and what I still have missing. So this is a good place to come and check if you need to look for your homework. After the stream, the second most important place that we want to look is in your classwork. So in classwork, this is where you're going to find all of your assignments and links to, to get to that information. So we're going to start by looking at the left hand side of the screen here where it has all of our topics. So these are all of the things my instructor has me working on in topic. So if I know where I'm supposed to go, I can sort that way. So let's say I need to look at main idea. I can click main idea and it brings me immediately into that topic. I see that my instructor has shared some new videos for me to watch and I see the assignments that I need to do. I can click on these links and it will take me to where I need to go. And when I have an assignment, I can click and complete the assignments as well. When you click on these assignments, it will either bring you to a link that you're supposed to be looking at, like this one right here will take me to PBS Learning Media. And the second one looks like my homework information. It is a Google form that's asking me to fill in some information. If you need to get back to that classwork at any time, you can come back to that tab and it immediately brings you back to the classwork stream. This also has an option to view your work, which will bring you back to the space so you can see the assignments that you have posted. So when I click it, it brings me right back to that screen where I have all of my assignments. It also has the option to use Google Calendar and the Class Drive folder. We're not going to go over how to use these right now, but if you do need them, just contact your instructor for extra help. The last tab is People. People just shows you who is enrolled in your class. So you can see that there are two teachers here, and I have a lot of classmates that I will be interacting with. So I'm going to go back to the stream. Now, the last part of this video, I want to show you how to change between classes because some of you may be enrolled in more than one class. The way you change between a class is to look for these three lines. When you see the three lines, it gives you the option to look at all of your classes in a row. So I am enrolled in two classes. I can choose which class I need to go into from those lines here. And when I click inside the classroom, it brings me immediately back to the stream for that class. So this has been just a quick little tour of Google Classrooms. If you have any extra questions, please feel free to send me a message and I'll get back with you as quickly as I can. And you can also email your instructor or call your instructor with any future questions.